The word addict conjures up a lot of negative images. We tend to immediately picture what we've seen in movies or on television, almost always an oversimplification of the truth. And as we prepare to bring you a full day of coverage tomorrow on America's opioid crisis, we want to explore the stigma that makes the mountain of recovery an even steeper climb for those who so badly want to get clean. Here's our Steve Garagiola. You want an easy explanation of drug addiction? Drug addicts are just bad people, right? Well, we love labels, we love simple answers. If only the epidemic in America was that simple. Just how bad is America's drug problem? Is epidemic an overstatement? For Macomb County very, District very Court very Judge Linda Davis. Medication. I think it's a massive epidemic. I think it's the worst epidemic this country has ever seen. And by most accounts, an epidemic of prescription drug abuse, heroin and opioids that is getting worse. In Macomb County, our death toll doubled last year. And my prediction is that's going to happen for at least the next four years. The first challenge is to put down the criminal stereotypes of drug addiction. The real faces belong to our sons and daughters, moms and dads. I was getting drunk and passing out and taking pills and going places where I wasn't supposed to be. As long as I had a fifth and a couple packs of cigarettes, nothing mattered. That's what it can do, you know, it can, it can just take complete, completely take over you. I could stay up and cry every day for the rest of my life. But Vicki King I, lost her son to an overdose of heroin laced with fentanyl. Just good people that just sports figures um, get hooked because of injuries and it's just everywhere. It's, there's no, it can be anybody. Judge Davis says we need to see drug addiction from a new perspective, a disease that requires treatment, not jail time. I was a prosecutor for many years and I put a lot of drug addicts in, in prison. So for me, this was a major, one. we talk about addicts changing, this was a 180 for me too. People out there in the world, they don't understand. They're always like, well, what's wrong with this person? Why can't you get it together? They don't understand it, that it is a disease. And recovery from that disease is a long, hard road. Recovery is like marriage. You know, so it's, it's, in fact, it's a bigger commitment than marriage, you know, you don't have the option to walk away and still live. Thanks, Steve. His story starts an important conversation about the opioid crisis in this country. That's why Local 4 is dedicating Wednesday to this epidemic with special reports in every newscast. At 6 a.m., the Frazier Director of Public Safety reveals how his department teaches parents and teachers to spot an addiction problem. On Local 4 News at 4, our phone bank and web chat will be open with addiction experts ready to answer your questions. And is hope not handcuffs working? The program offers addicts a way out, no questions asked. Fentanyl is 50 times more potent than heroin. At 5 p.m., hear why the local head of the DEA says he's never seen anything worse in his career. Then at 5.30, the victims of this opioid crisis who cannot help themselves, how babies and children are suffering. Then at 6 p.m., our Dr. Frank Me George looks at treating addiction and why the answer to getting clean is different for everyone. And that leads us to our primetime special at 10 p.m. I don't want to see anybody else have somebody like this just die for no reason. Patients wanted the relief and they wanted the quick fix and doctors wanted to help patients. 30 right seconds there. they can get over right away yeah. and so can opioids. Yep. I've seen more kids die from this. That was my mission. Put as many drugs into my body as possible so I didn't wake up the next morning. So do you think this opiate you. epidemic has changed your practice? Absolutely. Our team of reporters goes in depth on this crisis, Opioid Nation, an American epidemic, tomorrow at 10.